Hello, Assalamu alaikum, uh, brothers and sisters. Uh, mashallah, the aid convoy to Syria is due to be leaving soon now from Batley. It's Friday, the 21st of uh, September 2012. Uh, basically, they'll be taking a few ambulances, a lot of medical equipment, and cash to the war torn country of Syria. Thousands have been killed and injured. It, it, this will be, uh, I think, the second convoy that has been going. Uh, from this group. The uh, earlier uh, group did a research trip which investigated the best approach and the best method to get supplies and equipment in. Uh, so basically, basically this resulted in establishing a partnership with the Syrian clinic located near the Turkish border uh, to, maxify, to maximize its capacity to serve the Syrian uh, people. This clinic unfortunately has no ambulances and a severe lack of both medicines and medical equipment. Uh, as I said, the previous uh, convoy left on the 31st of October 2012 and they spent four days and three nights uh, on the road on the road to reach the Turkish-Syrian border. Uh, the Libyan Red Crescent made all the arrangements and, and logistics to grant a smooth entry to those ambulances to Syria. Uh, there are only at the moment two foreign clinics in Syria. The first one is run by doctors without borders and the second one is supported by Libyan Red Crescent. Doctors without borders at the moment have no ambulances to carry its patients and there is a considerable demand and urgent need for more ambulances uh, to save more lives. Uh, so this convoy, mashallah, is a co coalition between Hand in Hand for Syria and Lifeline Help and uh, Human Care Foundation worldwide and other various Libyan non-government organizations. Uh, this, this particular convoy has been facilitated by Libyan Red Crescent and uh, mashallah this convoy which is setting off today a meeting in Leicester uh, is going to be taking a, around at least 15 vehicles with 45 passengers from various nationalities, communities and background. Uh, mashallah this convoy has been led by a group of well-experienced international activists in humanitarian convoys um, and and mashallah this is made this all possible so brothers there's going to be a couple of brothers from Jewsby and Batley one brother is called Maksud, Motala and another brother from Mustafa they're going to be leaving from Batley they're going to be then joining the group in Leicester uh, around around five o'clock just take have a look inside okay so mashallah as you can see uh, there's quite a bit of kit here there's the stretchers here there's the medical equipment a lot of medical items, mashallah. These are the kits, uh, life saving kits actually. Um, yeah, the Celox kits, which help uh, shrapnel wounds, help to stop the blood clot, um, gives them at least two, three hours uh, for us to take the patient to the hospital and, and assist them and give them urgent medical treatment. Uh, a lot of the people, unfortunately, in Syria are, are dying. Uh, with shrapnel wounds, with a loss of blood, uh, so this will help in that, mashallah. Uh, Alhamdulillah, a lot of the people in Jewsbury and Batley they donated considerable amount of money towards this. I think, mashallah, between Jewsbury, Batley, and Sheffield, it's been around twenty thousand pound. It's been amazing. The response has been amazing from the local community. Uh, in a short, short space of time, mashallah, they've all united uh, to help our brothers and sisters in in uh, Syria. It's been absolutely amazing. It's been such a humbling experience. Alhamdulillah, may, may Allah reward you all in making this possible. And may Allah also reward all the brothers and sisters who have helped to make this convoy possible. May Allah also reward the people who are going on the convoy, make it easy for them, inshallah. May it, um, uh, may it help the ease, ease the suffering of the uh, people of Syria and inshallah we'll be doing a continuation of this project um, uh, unfortunately because of the situation in Syria uh, there's a lack of medical supplies um, so it might be a long-term project please make do us for success inshallah and Jazakallah khair again to all who have helped Assalamu alaikum